They'll be calling you a radical. Hey YouTube, this is Lonnie Clark from the Post Ignorance Project. Seems like just right when I'm starting to do the video, people are driving up. So I'm going to keep going because there seems to be people showing up here. Anyways, this is a shout out to all the people working with the Post Ignorance Project and working to stop the hideous nuclear cartel. Um, Kevin and I have been having some conversations about the active pacifists and the inactive pacifists and the people who are attempting to stop the nuclear cartel by playing softball. Uh, part of the reason why I support Kevin and I've uh, been really gotten involved with the Post Ignorance Project is because doing what they've been doing is insane. Uh, not that Beyond Nuclear is not a good organization, but their method is madness. Um, I listened to a really awesome, awesome video by Helen Caldicott earlier last night, and it was um, it was an interview she did on a radio show, and it was really awesome. She sounded just like Kevin, and I called Kevin. I'm like, oh my God, we how can we bring these people in? The thing is, what we have to understand is. When these people are making $100,000, $200,000 of becoming millionaires by trying to stop the nuclear industry, they're invested in the nuclear industry not stopping. So it's kind of that catch-22. Like, we would love to have some billionaire give us $500,000 and put me on a salary of $100,000 and Kevin on a salary of $100,000. And then people would be saying, hey, you have a vested interest in not stopping the nuclear. That's not the point. The point is, you see this air? It's fucking poison. The water is poison. The fish coming out of the Columbia River is poison. Everybody up in Seattle is being poisoned right here in Eugene. Those clouds that you see in the background, full of cesium and tritium from fucking Fukushima, and nobody's doing jack shit about it. In fact, they're intentionally running away from us. My own family doesn't even want me to talk about it. So, this is the thing, like, I feel really compelled to ask people to organize and get in the streets. We need people to get out, off of their chairs, into the streets, post videos up, like, of yourself. Like, we gotta be named. My name is Lonnie Clark. In fact, I spend my time when I'm not in school helping people with tax problems. You know what that means I do? I spend my time helping people who don't want to pay their taxes or who feel like the government's not good enough and they don't want to pay their taxes and then they find out that really there is it's minimal they can you know unless you're going to live underground you know what I say to them you want to be right or you want to be happy. The point is we use the tax law to our benefit you can, you know, minimize your taxes, but that's not the point of this. The point is, really, we need people to be educated. We need people to understand what civics is. We need people to actually read their constitution. We need people to actually call up their senators and their congressmen. We need people to start telling our senators and our congressmen that Fukushima has three, count them, one, two, three, nuclear power plants that are still in full meltdown and they have no idea where the corium is and when we hear these stories that they're going to take the rods out of number three it's all bullshit there are no more rods i can all you know we it doesn't take rocket science to understand the whole place was totally destroyed by the tsunami and the impending explosion that happened afterwards so whatever the nuclear cartel is telling us all right now it's all a big lie and really, it's, they're eating their own kids, man. And as long as people refuse to get up off their asses, and as long as people continue to say, oh, there's nothing I can do about it, it's not my job, or they're, no, they're not going to listen to us anyway, so I'm, not gonna, I'm too afraid of the government. Really? People are afraid of our government. It's our government. We can take it back. I mean... See this tattoo on my arm? It says, love is greater than fear. That's what I mean. You know why I had to put on my arm? Because a people need to understand. They have been selling us fear for over 30 years. The Bush administration just put it on Balco. And Obama 
has just been tagging along with it because guess what? He's a fucking coward. He's just as scared of them. You know, like he's as everybody else, he's doing whatever he's told. And in the meantime, he gets to get rich. The choice is you get rich or you get intimidated. Frankly, I'm not, I, I'm not interested in getting rich. I personally think it's immoral to be rich while we have tons of starving people. But if you believe it's okay to be rich, God bless you. I don't really care. That's up to you. But really, we need to get educated and we need to get out in the streets. The Post Ignorance Project is having an event. We're going to be down in San Onofre on Monday the 27th. Kevin's going to be there. Lori's going to be there. And I'm hoping that this video will spur some people to get off their asses. The meeting is going to be at the, what's it called, the New Omni Hotel in Carlsbad on the 27th. Starts at 6 or 6.30 get there early and protest outside of there against the NRC. We need voices and there are people in San Diego who are sitting on their asses watching my videos and watching Kevin's videos and saying, no, I'd rather watch the news or listen to NPR or I want to play my drums or I need to play my music or whatever it is that you do when you're not defending our country. That's what this is. We're defending our country. Because these people are attacking us. They're killing your children, my children, my grandchildren. They're destroying the planet. They're destroying the air. And honest to God, if we let San Onofre have a big, gigantic earthquake before they move their rods off of that, that contaminated waste, there is going to be no West Coast. Do you guys get how urgent this is? It is super urgent. And then we have the Million Mask Man March on November 5th. That's going to be in Washington, D.C. And then we have the Black and, Black, and, Black and Yellow Friday. So, you know, when that is, that's the day after Thanksgiving. And you know what that's about? Go out and protest at your local nuclear power plant. And if not your local nuclear power plant, at your local Walmart. Or at your local General Electric station or at the gas station. You know, get out in the streets and protest the day after Thanksgiving against them eating our arms off. Because that's what they're doing. They're killing us first. And then they're going to die too of radiation sickness. So, I don't know. I, you know, like I came into this pretty timidly. I was willing to let Kevin speak and I didn't want anybody to know about me. And after two years, like, fuck it, I don't care. The reality is, we are in grave danger. Like, grave, grave danger. Helen Caldicott said that even herself last night. The planet is in grave danger. And if people don't get it, we are going to die. The movie On the Beach was about the entire world being destroyed and the people in Australia waiting for the radiation to wash up to their shores to kill them too. That's about where we're at, you guys. I personally am the eternal optimist. I think we can turn it around pretty quickly. And I don't think that the universe, or God, or whatever you want to call it, is going to let this little tiny brain of ours, our little species, just go away for nothing. I think we will be able to save ourselves just in the nick of time. And I think me and you and everybody else out there that's not doing jack shit needs to get off their asses and do something. So, I hope that actually you will actually be activated and do something because we need you. We need every single one of you. We need Helen Caldicott. We need Kevin Camps to start acting like he's angry instead of going, oh, well, it might harm us. We need Arnie Gunderson to start acting like he's angry. I, I don't know how Kevin Camps and Arnie Gunderson are not angry. At least Helen Caldicott expresses her anger. You know, I mean, where's Carl Grossman? Where are these people? Where are, why are they not just, wham, 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 jumping in the streets, making their own videos? I mean, they got money up the yin yang. They can make films. They have tons of money. So where are they? They know the problem. They're not like the rest of these people who don't know the problem. They know the problem. So, you know what? This is a shout out 
to anybody who hears this, pass it on to somebody else to get somebody else active. You get active, they get active, we all get active. We have billions of people on this planet getting active. We can shut nuclear down in two or three years. I mean pronto like that. And if we don't, it's going to be the fault of the people sitting on their asses that Fukushima falls apart when there's a 9.0 or an 8.0 earthquake or when there's an 8.0 earthquake in California or when there's a meltdown in Hanford at, at the Columbia Generating Station or when, what is it, Oyster Creek gets overrun with water during a hurricane. I mean, the United States, unfortunately, is super vulnerable to massive destruction. And I personally am not going to sit around and just let them do that. So that's what this video is about and I hope that I've motivated you to get off your asses. Join us in Carlsbad on the 27th if you're in, in anywhere near San Diego or in Los Angeles Major. Get down there at about 6 o'clock at night. I know you have to sit on the 405 freeway to get there but make the time to get there. If you're near Washington DC Million Man Mask March. We want everybody down there speaking out against nuclear. Black and Yellow Friday, November 29th, the day after Thanksgiving. Protest at your nuclear power plants or at some mega corporation that's destroying the planet. Pick one. There's several. It doesn't have to just be one. You know, that is what it's going to take. Every one of us deciding, hey, you know what? Maybe I will. Here's this grandma out here begging me to get active. You know what? We need more than just the old people. I mean, me and Kevin, we're in our 50s. You know? I mean, we need the people that are young to get out and understand that they can save themselves instead of just going, there's nothing we can do and I'm so fucking pissed off because you guys destroyed the planet. Let me tell you what, I did not destroy the planet. Granted, I bought it hook, line, and sinker until Fukushima. And actually, after Fukushima, I didn't even hear about it until 2012. I thought it was all taken care of until I had a nightmare. That's what woke me up. I had a nightmare and started trying to find research on it. I wanted answers. And then I realized, holy crap, it's not fixed. And in the two and a half years I've been involved in this, you know what it means? Absolutely nothing. Nobody's done jack shit except let it get worse. Me and Kevin are out here jumping around, freaking out like freaking lunatics, and people are just going, huh, that's cute. Let me tell you what, that's bullshit. I mean, how do we cajole people? I don't know. I'm not good at that. But what I am good is at is seeing the picture clearly, and guess what? We need every single adult. Everybody who's over 18 needs to protect the children and needs to protect the very old and the infirm and the sick and we need to protect the birds and we need to protect the plants and we need to protect the animals and the only way we can do that is to stop these multinational corporations and to stop the nuclear industry so hopefully we'll see you down in Carlsbad and post your videos take your own cameras do this post your videos and get out do you remember what this means peace we're on a planet that has a problem. We've got to solve it, get involved, and do it now, now, now. We need to build a better future. And we need to start right now.